Hello. I'd like to talk to you today about this book, and more importantly, this man, who is FDR, and why I think he was a great man, and why you should read this book. So, uh, where does FDR's greatness arise from? Basically, FDR was a man with an unshakable sense of personal confidence, and a sense of calm that went along with that. So, I admire the man for his personal qualities. The fact that he knew from a young age that he wanted to be president. The fact that, by virtue of the opportunities that he was given, he was able to achieve that goal. And it was never really in question in his mind. Even when he was struck down with polio, he still managed to overcome that. Had to spend months of his life, years of his life really, overcoming this crippling, literally, disease. Um, and he had just this great gusto, this joy for life, which I found fascinating to read about. Um, I, I always find it fascinating characters who have that unshakable confidence in themselves. And FDR had that, and he used that confidence, that ability, in public service. So he died president. He served for 12 years, longer than anyone else in the history of presidents. Um, and he basically uh, worked himself to death, which I don't really recommend. I don't think that's a virtue unto itself, but uh, it's impressive nevertheless. Now, uh, the point is FDR was a boss. So, um, yeah, reading this biography just kind of gives you this feeling like you want to be a boss, too. So uh, I really admire that about FDR. Uh, now, on to this biography, FDR by Gene Edward Smith. Um, as you can see, this was the winner of the Francis Parkman Prize. Um, yeah, so um, it's sort of longish. Um, up to here is, uh, this part is just notes, so it's really more kind of like that. Um, you got some pretty fantastic pictures within, you know, there's his house, um, there he is at Harvard, publishing the, uh, Harvard Crimson, that's him right in the middle. Um, but you get the idea. Uh, great pictures, great story. It really does a nice job of discussing FDR in his fullness without going too sidetrack into like Eleanor Land or talking about his children or talking about World War II. It talks about the man and it stays focused on the man and his decisions, the way he lived his life, the way he conducted himself. Um, also, if you're a history nut and you like to know about 1930s and 1940s policy in specific, it goes way into that and you really get a sense for the juicy decisions that were being made uh, at this epic time in American history. Um, and it's fun to read. It's just superbly written. Um, I have great respect for an author who can make history enjoyable. So, uh, if you're looking for either a personal hero, a better understanding of the issues uh, in 1930s and 40s America, American politics and policy, uh, or just a good read, then I will strongly recommend to you FDR by Gene Edward Smith. Uh, this is Joe signing out.